Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we ended up uh, getting possessed by Yulia. Or Lorelai, I should say. And, uh... We had to get Tear looked at because she's collapsing and not feeling well. Plus, you know, she did just have the aggregate, sentient, whatever, of Lorelai possessor. So she may not be okay. So, we gotta go check out what's up with her. Uh, did I get... Did I buy things here? I don't remember. So, let's go speak to the governor. We gotta let him know what's up. Alright. That's all I had to do. Y'all, I'm going to try to get this out by tomorrow, or I should say by Monday. So if you're seeing this at the correct time, then yes, I did it. I have a action pack weekend. Like, I have been busy the last three or four weekends, no doubt, no lie, between weddings and concerts, and I haven't had time to like sit down, relax, and do extensive recording. Luke! We received a report from Sheridan that you headed for the core. The mission was a success. Only because Sheridan's residents and Belkin's researchers gave their lives. I see. I've been informed of Eamon, Hankin, and the others. His Majesty and the Duke have also issued formal complaints against Doth. But Grand Maestro Mose insists that Vance separated from Doth and carried it out on his own. The crimes of my subordinates are my own. You have my deepest apologies. Are Duke Fabra and Van still connected? No. With the attack on Sheridan, Das' influence was lifted from this city. Then we have a favor to ask. Tyr isn't well. We'd like her to get a full exam. Understood. Please speak with Shu in the lab. Thanks. I'll, tell, I'll talk more about it after the scene. It's a lengthy one. All right. The rest of you, please wait here. How is she? We don't have all the results back yet, but... Tyr's blood phonons are showing extremely unstable values. Blood phonons? People who use phonic arts absorb phonons into their bodies. In her case, the phonons are contaminated and aren't properly exiting her body. What do you mean, contaminated? That poison, the miasma, I believe they call it, that's fused with the phonons. It's primarily seventh phonons that have accumulated. She's absorbed seventh phonons that are contaminated with the miasma then? Quite a lot. They are weakening her internal organs. She said that the phone machines called passage rings responded to her. Dawn Age phone machinery generally contains large amounts of seventh phonons. So when we lower the land, the miasma flows into tear from the passage ring? That's the only answer I see. If she continues, she's not likely to survive. No! We can give her a medicine to suppress the effects. Oh, come on, you guys don't have the balls to kill off Tyr. Can't you cure it? I use the seventh phone on too, but I'm fine. She's absorbed over 100 times what a seventh phonist would normally consume in a lifetime. Could you give us a little more detail? I have something I'd like to ask as well. Let's split up here. As I've said before in many videos, I am not a fan of Tyr. I don't care for her character. She, in my opinion, she is the worst character of the party. That's just the way I feel. I know there are a lot of Tyr diehards out there. If what Lorelai said is true, then the core vibration has stopped and the Sephiroth should be stabilized. If the core has been stopped, if the core had been stopped earlier, then the passage rings would probably not have exceeded their endurance limit. 
If the rings were working normally, the tier wouldn't need to perform any more lowering operations. There's no point talking about that now, though. Go to her side, Luke. You're surprisingly dense. If you don't understand, don't worry about it. Just go to her. What's wrong? Are you feeling ill? You look fine, so I doubt there's anything to worry about. I don't think this guy had a name before. Now he does. Please go be with Tyr. I... No, never mind. What are you talking about, Ion? You're not going to tell us. So anyways, like I was saying, I have a lot of stuff. I've had a lot of stuff going on these past weekends, but I will talk more in depth as soon as we're done with all these scenes. Did you hear about me? Yeah. If the seventh phonons and me are contaminated, maybe Lorelai's contaminated too. Don't talk to me like everything's normal. Are you worried about me? Of course. The core stopped and the Sephiroth are under control, right? We don't have to lower the Outer Lands. It's too late. The passage rings are at their limit. So we have to keep going. I'm sorry. Why? I really want to tell you to stop lowering the Outer Lands. Luke. I thought about it as hard as I could, but if the Outer Lands fall, then lots of people will die. Right, it's not the life of one to the lives of many. So I can't just tell you to stop. Gotta, that's a common uh, thing in games where is the life of one worth the life of many? A very good moralistic standpoint in a game. Uh, look at Last of Us, for example. Uh, you should have seen that game or played that game or heard about that game or at, least, at the very least watched a series that was on Max. But Joel decided that the life of one was better than the life of many. Essentially. So, yeah. You have to ask yourself this, Luke. Is Tears' life worth the life of the millions of people that are going to die? <sighs> My uncle and Emperor Peony have both agreed to help. I can't tell everyone to stop now after all this. You idiot. What's with that face? What you're saying is right. If you really had told me to stop, I'd have lost all respect for you. Oh, God damn it! Shut up, Tear. Thank you. I was right to believe in you. You're crazy! What? You can't possibly be okay with this. You always try to act tough. Say you were at least a little scared or sad or something. If you just tell me how you really feel... It's not an act. <sighs> what is that trope in anime where the character has, like, no feelings? I'm sorry. Please, let me be alone for a while. No, I'm staying right here. Luke, please. I don't want anyone to see me like this. Then I'll turn around. Oh, hey, there's the next title of my episode. Haha. <laughs> you idiot. You idiot. And for that scene, we get the Strong of Heart title. Thank you. Please take care. Don't push yourself. So now we get back to lowering the land. But where do we go next? The regions with Sephiroth to which we haven't yet gone are Padamia, Redesia, and Sylvana, right? Minus the absorption gate and the radiation gate. Where are the absorption gate and the radiation gate? The absorption gate is northeast of Ketterberg. I've heard the radiation gate is on an island far south of Batical. Those are the largest Sephiroth, so we'll save them for later. They say the monsters there are stronger as well. Right now, we need to locate the passage rings for the remaining Sephiroth. There are researchers from Yulia City here. Let's ask them about the locations of the passage rings. But are you really okay, Tyr? Yes, the medicine's working. I don't feel any pain. I'm fine. And then they randomly throw that paid thing in there. It wasn't like she was feeling paid. She just felt off, woozy. But anyways, let me talk about some stuff before we get to the story. So yeah, I've been super 
super, super busy the last few weekends, and it has been very, very hard and stressful for me to, like, sit down, record, and edit, and get stuff out on time, because with the exception, I think, of one day, I have, I've gotten every single episode of this has come out at 9 o'clock a.m. on Monday through Saturday. I forgot the episode. There was one episode that I thought I had edited and uploaded, but I hadn't, so I had to uh, upload it and get it ready to go. Which was unfortunate. So yeah, I, and I'm still busy the next couple weekends. I mean, this weekend I have another wedding to go to. I'm not a fan of weddings. I don't like them. Maybe because I don't like dressing up. I'd much rather just wear like rustic clothes or lax clothes. Hell, I'm cool with wearing clothes that are like what you would wear to go to a warehouse or something, like casual wear. I don't like frou frou. Friss, prissy wear. It's what I feel it is. And then tonight, or actually within, two, within the next hour or so of when I'm recording this, I have a quinceanera to go to for my friend's sister, which I was going to go to the service, but I, I feel like the quinceanera should be more family and stuff like that. Plus, the whole service was going to be in Spanish, and I don't, I can't translate Spanish that well in my head. There are some words I can pick up, but if I'm hearing a whole service, I'm not going to know what to do or say except clap what everybody else does. So there is a reception that's supposed to be at 3, which I will be going to. I have to get this recorded, then I have to get in the shower, and then I have to get to the reception. And then next weekend, or I should say the weekend after, well, okay, so tomorrow, Sunday, which is what I usually do, like my stuff, like my editing, because I like to... Play ahead Thursday, part of Friday, record Friday, record Saturday, edit Saturday, up, edit Saturday, edit Sunday, upload Sunday, get ready for Monday. That's what I like to do, but I'm going to Six Flags Fright Fest with my uh, mother uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to be there all day, more than likely, so it's just like, <sighs> so yeah, yeah. It's very stressful, so I'm working on trying to get it. What I have been doing lately, because I've been so busy, is I had to, like, record one or two episodes at a time instead of the block of six that I do. And then I have to edit the episode the day before it comes out and get it up, and yeah. I don't even know why I'm trying this hard. I guess I feel it's, like, a sense of, like, grounding myself or setting goals and making it. I, 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 I don't exactly know. It's like a, it's like a double-edged sword. Where it's good for my mentality, but it's not good for my mentality. But anyways, I've rambled on long enough. Y'all don't care about what's going on in my life. Let's get back to the game. And what's happening with Tears Life. Now. Alright, I just had to double check my notes. We want to go this way. You could wander around this whole, where, this whole facility to try to find the people you gotta talk to to find out where you want to go. But... I'm just going to take you right there. I'm pretty sure they say the exact same thing they said the last time we talked to them. So we want to come to this door. And you're going to get a scene. Tear, I heard about your condition. I wish I could tell you to stop, but I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, do you know where the passage rings are? You're going to perform the lowering procedure, right? The only ones we've pinpointed are inside the Mejiora Highlands and Mount Rhaenyl. Mount Rhaenyl? I've heard the six god generals were gravely injured by monsters when they were there on duty. It's a dangerous place. I think we should save it for last. I agree. Even people living nearby rarely approach that mountain. Okay, then let's head for the Mejiora Highlands first. We'll track down the location of the remaining Sephiroth in Padamia. Take care. What is Van doing now? Van's been quiet ever since we entered the planet's core. I wonder what he's doing and where. Well, he needs Fabricry for his plan, that's for sure. He's probably looking for a new base now that he can't use Belkins. Actually, I suspect he's already found one. Or rather, he's returned to an old one. He's not one to waste things. Right, now we need to lower the Outer Lands safely so humanity isn't destroyed in the collapse. We can worry about Van after that. I know that worrying about him won't accomplish anything, but... 
Well, he's your brother. It's only natural to worry about him. Thank you, Luke. The two passengers we should know about are in the Mejiora Highlands and Mount Roniel. You'll have to travel up the river in a ship or something to reach the one in the Mejiora Highlands. So yeah, we do actually. Uh huh. So now let's uh let's head out. Oh wait a minute. The Mejiora Highlands Sephiroth is at the upper end of the Near Nee River. You won't be able to get there without a boat or something. You just told us that. Gotcha. All right. So, remember when we were in the Mejiora Highlands before? Well, now we're going to have to go back. But this time we're going to be in a different area in the Mejiora Highlands. And actually, I'm thinking I might be able to do the thing I wanted to do. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to show it off anyways. That's the way you do an LP. You got to show off the wrong way to do things, and then you got to show off the right way. I suppose I could lose to all the battles to show off all the skits, but since I already have access to the Storyteller Ant Lion Man thing in Ketterberg, I don't need to show those off. Also, those skits, you do get skits every time you're defeated by a boss and it tells you, like, hints on how to beat them. Those skits actually do not count towards your uh, completion of skits. There are only 489 skits, but with all the bosses, I think there's, like, 518, so... Anyways, as you step out, you get another skit. Tear, how are you doing? Fine, the medicine's working well. I'm worried. Yeah, don't push yourself. Don't worry. Let's work out lowering the Outer Lands. It's here. So let's go. There you go again, Colonel. Not at all. I'm worried too, but we've decided to proceed. There's no point in waiting. Fair and valid. Exactly. We have to finish up before Van interferes again. Yes, but if things get tough, let us know. I will. I think that's the closest I've gotten to Tears' actual voice the entire Let's Play. Anyways, you want to fly to this little peninsula? And you want to land right here. And then, what you want to do is you want to follow this around, and... Wow, I actually got there on my first try. That's cool. And now you get this top-down view. This happens uh, a couple times while you're in the Albi or going somewhere. And, y'all, this next area we're going to... Oh, yeah, if you, you can go up... That's annoying because sometimes my uh, analog stick sticks and it will pull me up when I don't want to go up. But anyways, this area we're going to has a lot of stuff to do in it. There are a total of 12 items as well as 9 enemies. Only 4 of them are new enemies though, I believe. 4, maybe 5? No, there's only 4 new enemies. But, as your highlands. Now, I do believe we're going to get a skit the moment we get here. Or a scene. No, take two steps, then scene. We ran into one hell of a monster the last time we came here. I hope we don't run into it again. I wonder where the passage ring is. It should be sealed with the Gothic seal, just like the others. Let's look for it. All right. Now... I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. I'm going to show off two alternate paths. You're also going to see the same cutscene twice. 
but I have just enough time to do it like this. So anyways, let's go forward and let's head down this way. This is where we want to go, so this is where we're going to go. I'm going to ignore all the treasures, I'm going to ignore all the enemies, I'm going to ignore everything that you're supposed to do in here. Major! Too slow! Uh. Tyr, stop this foolishness. Commandant Grants is worried about you. You are the fools! That's not what you say at your text bubble. We know about your health. Is this world really worth giving your own life to save? I'm sure you've heard the truth about Hod. Politicians controlled by the score, using it for their own ends, just as Van said. Then join us. The Commandant will spare you and the other survivor of Hod. Thanks, but I'll pass on a world replaced entirely with replicas. What's wrong with the land and people we have now? They will never escape the curse of Yulia's score. The most slowest action scenes time, I've ever seen. You'll come to understand just how accurate Yulia's score is. The score is stronger than a few disturbances. History will proceed as the Seventh Phone Stone shows. The Seventh Phone Stone? Has Van found it? No, Tyr. That was it. That thing was the Seventh Phone Stone. Wait! Apparently, she didn't come here to fight. Guy, where did you see the seventh phone stone? In Hod. When I was a kid, Van took me to see it once. In Hod? That's the first I've heard of that. Van said it was in a secret place. Its location passed down within the Fende family. Fende was one of the seven <clears throat> sages who served Yulia. Yulia's children carried on her phonic hymns and abilities from one generation to the next. You're one of Yulia's descendants yourself, are you not? Well, that's what Van told me. I don't have any proof, though. But you can sing those phonic hymns! And only a descendant of Yulia would be guarding the Seventh Phone Stone. The Seventh Phone Stone disappeared into the core along with Hod. That light we saw when going into the core, that was the Seventh Phone Stone. I'm sure of it. If the Seventh Phone Stone was in Hod, then when Hod was destroyed... It could have sunk into the liquefied land, but... Oops. Then Master Van knows the future written on the seventh phone stone? Could we actually be doing something bad? The Outer Lands will fall regardless. It's better to lower them slowly so people don't get hurt. Yeah, you're right. I'm just worried about everything we don't know. Don't worry about what you don't know, that's life. Huh? what's that here? What you got? Anyways, I'm not going to save because I'm going to go back and replay everything up until I get back to the Meshiora Highlands. This is the place. <clears throat> and we're going to play for real. There's no sign of Master Van being here. Go ahead, Ion. Right. Thank you. I'm sorry. This always Take happens. a shot! I have the original's abilities, but not his strength. You weren't just sick after all. Right. It's a strange feeling, seeing the research I began spread in this way. I think Ash is angry about it, but I'm seriously grateful. If you hadn't thought of Plomacry, I'd never have been born. Though I probably wasn't meant to be. Luke, you said you weren't going to talk like that anymore. Shut up, Tyr. Yeah, stop putting yourself down. Yeah, stop, Master. All right, all right. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm gonna I'm gonna do it later. I was going to read that skit, but there's no point reading it now and then reading it at a later date. Wow! I didn't expect to see foam machines like these in a place like this! Why the hell do you sound so happy? Living in Kim Laska opened my eyes to the wonders of phonic technology.
Dawn Age phone machines were built so well. Men really like this sort of thing, don't they? Not just men, Natalia. My papa likes building models, too. He's like a little kid. Whatever. Women just don't get it. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Guy, may I introduce you to Ray from Tales of Symphonia? You should or have become a phonic technician instead of a swordsman. Sage! Rain. Rain Sage. Yeah, her name is Rain Sage. I'm gonna ignore skits. We're gonna go straight to this. Let me check to make sure. I wanna get myself back on hard. And when I come back in the next part, we will read all of these skits. Well, we probably won't get these skits in the next part. Whoa, awesome! It's a mechanical doll! Wait, if it attacks you... This isn't a combat machine, Tyr. It's probably here to maintain the phone machinery. You mean he's the one who maintains the passage ring? Well, the passage rings throughout the world are all connected. Maybe when there's a serious problem, this guy heads out to fix it. But the passage rings wound up breaking anyway. Well, yeah. If the Sephiroth going out of control had been written in the score, then perhaps this mechanical doll was programmed with how to deal with it. You can talk to it, it doesn't say much. We want to go over here to this elevator. This would probably be a little over 30 minutes, but not too much. It looks like the passage ring is down below. The elevator's not working. The power's out. Are you serious? Are there any stairs or anything? I don't see any. Then I guess Guy or Jade will have to work their magic. I'm sorry. I'm afraid my specialty is phonic arts. I'll pass. But you made phonicry. I just developed the theory. It was Dist who built the phone machinery. You look concerned. We need to replace the broken power supply with a new one, but... There's no replacement. Except for him. If we take his power supply and attach it here, it'll probably work. What? If you take his power supply, he'll stop working! Yeah, but that's the only way. But he's working so hard! I feel sorry for him! We don't have a choice. There's no other way. Let's attack it! <clears throat> for boss time! For Against the repair phone box! I'm just doing the basic attacks of this thing because I want it to kill me. And now I want it to go ahead and kill Tyr. Actually, let's have it kill Tyr first. I'm gonna throw a magic lens out at it, not because I'm gonna I'm not gonna write down its stats here. I'm just gonna throw it out so I know how close it is to dying. Okay, it's, it's a long way from dying. Careful, that was a powerful attack. We should be more careful. Using this cure. Good, 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 good. Now I wanna get Natalia out here so that I could uh so that I could kill her off as well. Now 
Also, if you're able to get a lot of hits on this thing, you can do it really well. You can do it very well uh, with this enemy. This enemy is a damage sponge. Alright, still got not even halfway down. I'm actually thinking we might have a decent chance at fighting this thing on hard. Oh! Ah! It's strong. I hope we can come up with some sort of strategy. Oh, isn't that interesting? You actually will not get a game over if you do that. Oh! Oh, that changes everything. A strong enemy. That full tech dial certainly is strong. I thought you said it wasn't designed to battle. Maybe it got mad at us because we tried to take away its power source. It might be taking Infonic power from some outside source. I've seen it done before. There should be Phonic power generators somewhere in the Mejior Highlands. So we just have to take care of those? Yeah, probably. Well, we can't do anything now. Let's go look for those generators. <sighs> More walking ahead, I see. Well, that's the only way to get that skit. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. If I would have known that's how it was going to play out, I would have done this a lot differently. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end the video here. When we come back... I will go ahead and start back in the Mejior Highlands before the uh, scene you get upon arriving. And then I'm going to go fight this guy again. I'm going to cut out the battle until I lose. That way I can have this skit on my list of skits. And then we're going to go on. So will we be able to defeat this thing and will we be able to make it weaker? Because my gosh, what are all these power sources that... Uh, guy is talking about because it whooped our asses find out next time and let's play tales of the abyss 100 percent this is joseph k signing out y'all have a great day keep it real later <laughs>